Hello there. I am Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. In today's WordPress image SEO video, what I'd love to share with you is how you can take images from Google Docs and import them into WordPress, including all heading tags, all alt tags, and title tags. So I don't want to waste any time. I want to point out chrispalmer.org for any and all of your SEO needs. With that being said, I want to share with you first and foremost the plugins that I will be using for this particular tutorial. First and foremost, I'm using WordPress. I'm using Breakdance. This is a builder from the makers of Oxygen. On top of that, I have Duplicate Post. And the big plugin that does all the heavy lifting is Mammoth Docs Converter. This will take your Google Doc, import everything utilizing Docs. <coughs> So with that being said, um, I have some Google Docs here. So inside of the Google Doc, all right, what you will want to do is go to each of the images, all right? The very first thing is go to the image, hover over it, click it. Once you click it, you will want to go to image options. Once you open up image options, on the right-hand side, you will see some options. <laughs> Inside of these options at the very bottom, you will find alt text. Inside of the alt text section, you can add a meta description. Along with that, the title of the image. This way, when you import the images, not only will the alt tag be already filled out, but also the title of the image. It's a double optimization. So what you'll want to do is go ahead and highlight, fill out all of these details, and the very next thing is that you will want to go ahead and go to file. And then the next step is download as a docs. All right. Once down downloaded as a docs onto your PC, you will see a file that looks just like this. This will have all your images, image alts, uh, image titles, all of the information associated to the images. On top of that, it, it will also import text. So if you have formatting, such as title tags, H tags, paragraph text. It will also import all of those details. But for the sake of this particular tutorial, I'm just sharing with you how to import once you've gone ahead and optimized the images. So we've taken care of this. You know what the docs look like. The very next step is you will want to head on over to your WordPress installation. Once inside of the WordPress installation, the very next step is you'll want to go to pages. Once inside of pages, you will want to add new. When you add new at the very bottom, you will see a Mammoth Docs Converter after you activate the plugin, all right? Once you have the Docs Converter, the very next step is you will need to go ahead and, here I'll share this with you, click the Choose File button, and then select your Docs. Once this is done, give it some time and you will see inside of your media library the images that were on the Google Docs. With that being said, that's going to wrap up how to import images from Google Docs into your WordPress utilizing Mammoth Docs Importer. Thank you so much. Put this over here. So Live Jazz Bands asks, if I wanted to target five cities in 20 different states, is it best to build 20 state web pages, websites, and five city pages, or one national web page with 100 city pages? All right, good question. Depending on your niche and depending on the cities that you're targeting, this will determine if you should have a national site or you should target a state and then go after all the cities. In most cases, it's best to have a main page or home page that's state specific and then have city specific pages to support it.